Hello, my name is Tamir Mendel, and I'm a postdoc at New York University. And this work I conducted during my PhD at Tel Aviv University, advised by Professor Antoch. I will present our work, Social Support for Mobile Security, Comparing Close Connection and Community Volunteers in a Fields Experiment. Receiving support is one of the ways people can learn and manage security attacks. People regularly rely on family, friends, and community when learning to use mobile technology. For example, AppMod is an app that allows an older adult to delegate security decision to a trusted social contact. We define social support as receiving technical support from family, friends, or the community. What's happen when people do not have social connection? So a possible solution is volunteers to provide support. Uh, for example, SafeUp is a safe network that allow women to protect one another. Our research question are, what are the differences in perceptions of reliance, learning, and privacy exposure uh, between close social connection and community of volunteers. The second recent uh, question is what features such as the number of words uh, in the support interaction um, influence people's perception about reliance, learning, and privacy exposure in, in the support process. Uh, we conducted a field experiment and participants were asked to install Meerkat, uh, the experiment app. Uh, in the app, we have two types of roles, uh, seekers, uh, users who ask and receive support and helpers who provide support. During the experiment, uh, the seeker receives a, a new task and was asked to send question to the helper. The seeker receives guidance to ask the helper where the message is un unsafe. Uh, the seeker gets a screenshot of the text message. The seeker can draw on the screenshot and write a message to describe and highlight the problem. The seeker can select support and receive support from user she knows or doesn't know uh, in this example, the app randomly assigned to a close connection. The seeker can see uh, the helper's message with a blue pen uh, on the screenshot and text below the attached screen. We conducted a, a field experiment over five days. Uh, we recruited 32 pairs of participants with strong uh, social ties. In total, we had um, 65 participants. Each participant uh, was randomly assigned to a rule, a seeker, a user who asks and receives support, or a helper, a user who provides support. Seeker received 10 tasks uh, representing phishing attacks and they were requested to ask for uh, support from the helper. For each task, we manipulated the helper, a close social connection, or community member. The app randomly assigned the helper uh, type and allows seekers uh, to select only one helper. Uh, in this example, Mirkat randomized a close connection and the seeker saw in the description a family member or a close friend. And the seeker could select only a close friend from the contact list. The helper have helped both close connections and community members. After Seeker read the helper's advice, Mirkat sent a link to a questionnaire. Uh, the Seeker was uh, asked to respond to the top five questions, uh, reliance, learning, exposure, text, and drawing satisfaction. 
the helper was asked to respond to the other five questions, uh, reliance, teaching, exposure, uh, text, and snapshot satisfactions. So now the results um, of our experiment. Um, our findings show that 72 to 80% of seekers have reported they will rely on helpers. Uh, the seeker's reliance uh, was higher by 8% for uh, receiving help from close connection than volunteers. Uh, we found similar result in the helper's perceived reliance that was higher, higher by 12% in helping close connection than community members. In the helper perceived reliance, the proportion of unknown cases increases from 10% in close connection to 22% in the community members. Uh, this result uh, indicates that helpers may have more difficulty understanding if the community members rely on them than uh, close connection seekers. 81 to 89% of seekers agree and strongly agree they learn uh, from the support interaction. We can see that seeker learning from the close uh, connection uh, is 8% higher than community volunteer support. This is also true to exposure. Seekers also felt more exposed when sharing screenshots with com community members compared to a, so a close social connection. Another finding is that learning and satisfaction positively uh, correlate uh, with the length of the message as the number of words in the support interactions increases, seekers learn more. Elper perceived their teaching ability to be higher by 13% of uh, for close social connection than community members. Text and snapshot satisfactions have shown that helpers better understand the seeker questions uh, from a social connection than a community member. Another finding is that helpers with higher security awareness may believe they can teach the seeker and interested in receiving a snapshot to understand the situation better to provide support. So to conclude, a social-based and community-based system can be used. Uh, our participant reported 72 to 80% willingness to rely on helpers and 81 to 89% of the seekers agree and strongly agreed they learned from the support interaction. A close connection have a higher effect, around 10% uh, higher than volunteers in reliance and learning perception. Alternatively, we can think of design that close the gap between social connection and community members. For example, endorsement cues or helper ranking to help seekers rely on and learning from the helper. We can imagine a system that delegates support to the most appropriate uh, helper while considering uh, how sensitive information is, how important expertise is, and, how, and other factors. Uh, finally, uh, we want to encourage and nudge helpers to write longer messages to allow the seeker to understand the support. So you can download the experiment app Meerkat through the QR code on the right or the link in the slide uh, and to experience uh, our uh, application. Uh, thank you for listening.